Dear students, now you know that living things move. Living things need food. Living things reproduce. Living things grow and living things breathe. Now let us learn about another feature of living things. That is, living things feel. Students, you all wear thick woolen clothes in winter. And you wear thin cotton clothes in summer, don't you? Now tell me, why do you wear thick woolen clothes in the winter? You feel cold in the winter. So, you wear thick woolen clothes in winter, don't you? But in summer, you feel hot. So, you wear thin cotton clothes. Dear students, sometimes you sit by the fire. You feel hot when you sit by the fire, don't you? And you feel cold when you touch ice. We all feel hot and cold. All living things feel. Have you ever stepped on a pointed object like a thumb pin? If you step on a thumb pin, you feel pain, don't you? All the living things feel pain. Have you ever wondered how you feel hot, cold and pain? Well, let me tell you. You feel hot, cold and pain with your skin. Similarly, you taste with your tongue, listen with your ears, see with your eyes and smell with your nose. Skin, tongue, ears, eyes and nose are our sense organs. Our sense organs help us to feel the change in our surrounding. All the animals have the sense organs to feel. Animals feel hot, cold and pain with the help of their skins. They also see with their eyes, listen with their ears, taste with their tongue and smell with their nose. Students, not only animals, even plants can feel. This is a touch-me-not plant. Do you know what happens if we touch its leaves? It closes its leaves. Can you tell me why it closes its leaves? Touch-me-not plant can feel our touch. So, when we touch its leaf, it closes them. A sunflower always turns towards the bright sunlight. It can feel the sunlight. So, plants also have senses. Plants, too, can feel the change in their surroundings. But they do not show their feelings directly. So, all living things feel. Now, tell me, what are the different things in your surroundings 
that make you feel heat and cold temperature light pressure and different chemicals make living things feel they are known as the stimuli now tell me what do you do when the bright light falls on your eyes you quickly close your eyes don't you a bright light is the stimulus similarly closing your eyes is your response to the stimulus all the living things feel and show response to these stimuli this is called sensitivity an animal shows quick response to the stimuli but a plant does not show quick response to the stimuli it reacts at a slow pace students this is a table have you seen a table wearing thick woolen clothes in the winter and thin cotton clothes in the summer you have never seen a table does not feel hot nor cold like us it does not feel pain either non living things like the sun the moon the cloud and the mountain do not feel similarly non living things like a car a bus a cycle and a motorbike also do not feel they do not show response to stimuli either all living things feel and show response to stimuli but non living things do not feel nor show response to the stimuli